Nicole Scott here for Mobile Geeks, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Xiaomi Notebook. This is a, I'm just going to say it, a MacBook Air clone, but it's half the price. Let's find out if you are the right user for this notebook. <laughs> Uh, the Xiaomi Mi Notebook has a 1080p display and it is edge to edge and there's no denying that it is beautiful. The only thing that I don't like about it is that it's glossy so it does have a little bit of glare and using it in the sun is kind of an issue. The device itself is very lightweight for something that has a unibody metal design so it is absolutely gorgeous in the way that it's kind of put together and the fit and finish is really quite premium. It's running a Core M processor with 40 gigabytes of RAM and under the hood, just to get a little bit geeky, it has an M.2 SSD but it actually has two slots so if you wanted to upgrade the internals that is something that you can do. The device itself is actually pretty thin at 12.9 millimeters. And if we take a look around the system at the ports, we have a USB type C for charging, uh, a USB three, and then we have a HDMI out and a headphone jack. One of the things you're gonna notice that's missing is an SD card reader. There is no SD card reader, and I'll be honest with you, this makes me absolutely crazy. For a device that you should be kind of taking out, you know, maybe editing some photos on, this is the perfect machine for something like that, and it's just missing this key feature. And it's not as if there wasn't any room, they clearly could have included one. So I mentioned under the hood, we have an Intel M3 processor with 4 gigabytes of RAM. Now, what does this really mean to you? If you're somebody who wants to use Photoshop, but is not a professional, this will be good enough. If you're somebody who likes to do some very light gaming, maybe you'll get by. But if you want to surf the web, do some multitasking in terms of having Excel open, Word open, you know, uh, several tabs on a web browser. This is definitely a machine that can handle that. And the fan, when it does kind of, you know, work under a heavy load, it's not very loud. One of the drawbacks is that it does get a bit hot. So if you are really pushing this device, like let's say you're doing a little bit of video editing, then you will feel the burn. So Xiaomi is saying that the speakers on this device are excellent. I wouldn't use the word excellent, I would say good. There is some semblance of bass, and if you are looking to play a lot of movies on this and watch them at home, say you don't have a TV and you're a cord cutter, I'd be satisfied with this machine. I've actually been watching, binge watching, <laughs> quite a few series on this. It's lightweight, it's portable. Like when I have it in bed, in my covers, uh, it doesn't get too hot, like I was telling you there's heat issues, but playing videos isn't going to overload it, so you won't have any issues with like touching your sheets and being like, oh, is this like a flame incident waiting to happen? No, that's not going to happen. What's up, guys? Wait a minute. You guys aren't the real Avengers. I can tell Hulk gives it away. When it comes to one of the biggest downfalls of this machine, it is the battery life. So we're looking at seven hours of binge watching, and that's like local, so native, not streaming. So if you're looking at uh, like doing Netflix, that actually reduces the amount of time. So we're looking at about six and a half hours of streaming. Now, if you are the kind of person who takes this to a coffee shop and wants to work offline, you'll get 12 hours if you're just doing Word, right? So an, as an offline coffee shop machine, this is really killer. The keyboard is great. You have good travel on the keys, and in general, I, I like the spacing. The shift keys are, are nice and big, and I think everything's very well placed. Now, the trackpad is actually a precision trackpad, and it is a very good touchpad. They didn't skimp on the quality of that, so that's a definite bonus. I had to, to you know, really kind of tweak it because it was getting a little like too fast on the two-finger scroll, but having said that, 
it's something that you can definitely play around with. And that may only have been because I had to reinstall an English operating system because ours came with a Chinese one, which is going to be the biggest issue that most people are going to have with this is that this is a very difficult machine to buy. You're going to have to buy it through a third party site like Trading Shenzhen, uh, which was great. That's where we got ours. But unfortunately, we didn't get it with the English or German operating system. So that is a big downside. If you are in Germany, there is no German keyboard. So out of luck for that. So that was my quick review of the Xiaomi Mi Notebook. I kind of tried to give it a perspective of somebody who would take it out and actually use it. I do recommend buying it for $500. This is an absolutely killer device because it looks exactly like a MacBook without any branding. And that's actually one of the things that I love the most about it is that it just looks like a nondescript, amazing polished sheet of metal. It feels really quality in hand. The edge to edge glass display looks beautiful, like beautiful. Only Dell is doing it better with the XPS 13, in my opinion. Um, but having said all of that, if you can't get your hands on one, get it with the English operating system. And for $500, you have yourself like a very, very decent on the road laptop. Definitely something that I recommend buying. Uh, and I love the fact that it has the really fast SSDs, which make kind of multitasking and doing a little bit more complex work a little more snappy. So Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks. Did you like this review? Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Also do let me know. Yeah.